Dear. Tragically, uh, nearly 300 toddlers have lost their lives to drowning since 2002. Not good enough. With summer fast approaching, it's imperative that we know how to keep our little ones safe near the water. Now, our next guest is an ambassador for Keep Watch, the Royal Life Saving Initiative to help reduce the number of kids drowning in Australia. Please welcome Olympic swimmer Sam Riley. Now, I've got a question for you. I've got a toddler and we've got a, an above ground number, a pool. Leo's three. Should he already know how to swim? Uh, well, he should be able to do his butterfly and tumble turns by the age of three, I guess. <laughs> um, no, I mean, at the age of three, they should be in the water uh, learning about water confidence, um, how to safely get in and out of a pool. Um, and it is a great age and it's a great activity for parents um, to take part in with their kids. Do you mean a, a specific organised um, swimming class or just mucking around together in the pool? Uh, well, I think that it's a, probably a good time to take him to a to a proper class. Okay. I think at the age of three, they're probably starting to get into the water on their own without mum or dad. Yeah. Um, it is a good time to take toddlers a little bit earlier um, because they can actually learn a few skills that you know they could fall in and be able to get themselves out. So the statistics for this year are quite scary. Um, 28 young lives were lost under the age of five in the last 12 months and all of these deaths are preventable. Mm. Um, so I think it's really important to do whatever we can, whether that be water familiarisation as one of those steps to help keep our children safe. Oh, absolutely, Sam. Those statistics are terrifying. But now home pools are one of the number one causes of toddlers drowning. Sam, what are some of the key things we should be doing to keep our kids safe around our home pool environment? Well, it was interesting to note that over 60% of the deaths actually occurred at home. And I guess we're at home with our children, our, our family, and we think that it's a really safe envir environment for our children. So it comes back to supervision again, but the other important step is to make sure that our pool fences are actually safe and in good working order. Mm -hmm. A lot of us have uh, pool fences, but uh, they might not have had any maintenance on them since they were installed. So Poolworks and Royal Life have this great checklist and it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes just to go through. You can d download it on a website, homepoolsafety.com.au mm -hmm. and basically just go through and make sure that, you know, the gate's in good working order, that plants and trees haven't grown over to prevent the door closing, um, that there's not things like lightweight outdoor furniture that children can drag across and climb into the pool area. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's really important to make <laughs> sure our, our pool is safe. And also, I mean, when you've got kids and you have your own pool, you tend to sort of, I suppose, be more knowledgeable and familiar with water. But what happens when a family goes on holiday, there's a pool in the, in the resort or there's a beach, and those kids sort of haven't had much exposure to pools. What are some tips to keep families safe? Well, it comes back to the most important step, and that's being supervision. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that all of these deaths are preventable and all comes back to a parent or a carer being around and actually being within arm's reach of these children. Mm -hmm. The Keep Watch program aims at the zero to five year age group and these children need you close by and that doesn't mean watching from, you know, the kitchen window or watching from uh, a nice lounge by the pool. It means actually being there with them. Um, I've got three young boys and I know how quickly they can uh, become distracted and, and wander off. Um, I think it's a great idea that it, you, if you are at a, a family barbecue or a picnic by a beach or a, an outdoor waterway, um, that it's important to nominate a supervisor. Often if there's 20 people at a barbecue, everyone thinks somebody else is watching over the children and in fact probably no one's watching because they all think someone else is. So it's really important to nominate one person and, and maybe do a rotation basis like that. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Please thank Sam Riley. Thank you. <laughs> For more information on pool safety and also uh, in rivers and beaches, please check the Circle website. Fabulous information.